Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sports 2.0 Show. My name is Ryan Goatee, and it's great to be here again. Hope everyone's doing well on this Thursday afternoon. Today, we're going to be discussing some win totals for the AFC North. All these odds are brought to you by Cedar Sportsbook. We're going to start off with the Cleveland Browns, who are my pick to win the division this year. You look, you look at last season, they had a magical run with Kevin Stefanski as their first, as, in his first year. Um, you look at the defense, who was stout with Miles Garrett um, up front. I think he's one of the best, um, not only young defenders in the league, but best one of the best players in the league. Um, so that's saying a lot. Uh, Denzel Ward is also a great cornerback. Um, so they got it all. They got it up front. They got it in the secondary. I think their defense is going to be uh, get pretty good this year again. Um, offensively, look how balanced they are um, with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt being one of the best one-two punches in the NFL at running back. And you look at their wide receiver corps, um, headlined by Odell Beckham Jr., who is coming back, who I am thrilled to see again this season, um, to go along with Jarvis Landry and Donovan Peoples-Jones, who's um, gotten a lot of hype um, in training camp. I think he's going to have a breakout year. Um, and lastly, Baker Mayfield, who doesn't get as much credit as I believe he should. Um, I know in his first two years of the league, he was um, very up and down. Um, but last year, he showed why he is he wa- he is capable of uh, being a, one of a, one of the best quarterbacks, um, one of the best young quarterbacks in the league. Um, I know he is he he is he thrives off play action, um, which Kevin Stefanski put him in last year, which is why I think he succeeded um, because of the threat of Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Um, it brought a lot of defenders to come up to the line of scrimmage, which um, gave him the ability to um, hit some long throws, um, especially with Odell coming back. I think that's going to help him a lot. I know a lot of people are saying that he plays better without Odell. Um, anytime you have a player like Odell Beckham Jr. on your team, that's going to make your team better. So, um I expect Baker to improve even more this season. Um, I like the Browns a lot, so I'm going to take the over here at 10 and a half. Moving on to the Pittsburgh Steelers, um, who shockingly um, got <laughs> hit by Cedar Sports, but got the eight and a half win total line. Um, and they are projected to, they're favored to go under eight and a half wins, which is crazy in my opinion. Um, Mike Tomlin has never coached a team under 500. Um, given that it's a 17-game schedule, eight and a half wins is right at um, the 500 mark. Um, I think I'm 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 going to slam the over here, um, especially with those odds. Uh, you look at their defense, who is stout year in and year out. They one of the league leaders in taking the ball away. Um, I don't see a reason for that to change. Um, you look at uh, JJ Watt's brother uh, TJ Watt, who is very, a very underrated def- uh, defender in this league. Um, I think he's going to play have another monster season. Offensively. Um, I think the addition of Najee Harris is going to be huge. Um, the, one of the biggest reasons Pittsburgh um, kind of tumbled towards the end of the season was their inability to run the football. And I know that has a lot to do with their offensive line, um, but I think their offensive line is going to be a little bit improved, and I think Najee Harris is going to mask a lot of their um, issues. Uh, I think he's one of the best. He is, in my opinion, the best running back coming out of the draft this year. Um, his ability to run between the tackles and catch passes is going to help Big Ben a lot, especially um, now that he's 37 years of age. Um, I, I do believe it's going to be Big Ben's last year, which is why I think that uh, Mike Tomlin is going to go all out um, for him to um, go as far as he can. He has had an illustrious career, and I think he is going to have a decent season. Um, you look on the outside; they got one of the best three-headed um, duos, one of the three, one of the best wide receiver corps in the league, um, and Juju Smith-Schuster, Deontay Johnson, and Chase Claypool, who broke out last season. Um, I expect them to do to do well again this year. Uh, and like I said, I like Big Ben to have a decent year. Moving on to the Baltimore Ravens, who are um, – Speed of Sportsbook uh, has given them huge odds um, to go over 10 half wins at minus 145. Um, but because – you know, they're giving them plus 125 at the under 10 and a half. Um, I'm going to go with the under. You know, it's a very um, flip or flop. I was thinking about this for a while, but I'm going to go with the under here. Um, I think it's, it's a good bet, at, at especially at plus 125, like I said. Um, Baltimore is a great team. Don't get me wrong. Um, they have a great defense, and Lamar Jackson is a good quarterback. Um, 
I just think that because of his inconsistency throwing inconsistency throwing the football down the field, I think it's going to hurt them like uh, hurt them again. Uh, they have, and don't forget the loss of J.K. Dobbins. I think is going to be huge. Um, he had a great year last year in his rookie year. I think Gus Edwards is going to play well in his absence, but he won't be J.K. Dobbins. Um, and they haven't figured out the wide receiver corpse. I know they drafted Rashawn Bateman um, and they still have Marquise Brown, but uh, I got to see to believe it. Um, Marquise Brown struggled last year and I don't think he's a number one wide receiver in the league. Um, offensively, their only true number one pass catcher is Mark Andrews, who Lamar Jackson cons- consistently looks for. Um, but you got to have some threats from the outside. And Lamar Jackson has to to show everybody that he is able to throw the ball from the pocket consistently down the field. And because he hasn't been able to show that consistently, I'm going to take the under here. Lastly, going to the bottom of the division, the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, I think honestly setting the bar six and a half is a little modest from Caesar Sportsbook. I'm going to slam the under here um, at minus 115. Uh, listen, don't get me wrong. I think Joe Burrow is, is, a, is a great prospect. Um, he had a pretty decent year until he got uh, until he tore his ACL. Um, but you look at why he tore his ACL. The Bengals had one of the worst offensive lines in the league last season, and instead of addressing that in the draft, they drafted Jamar Chase, who I think is going to be a good wide receiver in this league. But um, you can only have so many weapons. But if you don't have an offensive line to protect your young quarterback and your weapons, it does no use. Um, so I'm really scared for Joe Burrow this year. I really hope um, that the team runs the ball more this year with Joe Mixon. Um, but I, I'm, like I said, I'm scared for Joe Burrow. I don't think he's going to have even three or four seconds to throw the ball. Um, so if Zach Taylor's smart, he's going to prioritize running the ball, getting some quick throws um, in order to in order to save Joe Burrow. Um, crossing my fingers, um, he stays healthy this year, uh, especially coming off that 20 ACL. Um, so like I said, I'm going to take the under here at six and a half. Um, sorry, Cincinnati fans, but that's where I'm going with this. Uh, anyways, that's all, that's all it's going to be for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please, please, please subscribe to the sports 2.0 show on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch. We're doing big things, um, recently. So we really appreciate the follow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day.